everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm sharing another project for Miss Ink Stamps. And for my card today, I'm going to be using the Rainbow Builder Stencil Set, along with some Distress Oxides to create a bright and colorful background. And then I'm going to bring in the Sunshine and Rainbow Stamp Set to top that off with some fun sentiments. So to get started, I'm going to bring in a piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to use my Distress Oxides to blend a rainbow across it. And for my colors, I'm going to start with some Wilted Violet, followed by some Worn Lipstick, Dried Marigold, Squeezed Lemonade, Twisted Citron, and then Peacock Feathers. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep blending back and forth between the colors until I have a nice smooth blend. Once I have everything nice and blended, I'm going to go ahead and spritz the whole panel with some water and then I'm just going to pick that up with a paper towel and then I'm going to clean up my mess real quick and then go ahead and dry that panel a little bit with my heat tool. While I was drying my panel, I thought, what goes better with rainbows than some sparkle? So I brought in some glimmer dust to add a little extra shine, and then I just went ahead and spritzed it, and then went back to drying my panel. Next, I can start adding in my rainbows, and I'm going to go ahead and place my stencil and then hold that to the surface using some washi tape. And I'm going to start filling in the stencil using some Black Distress Oxide. Next, I'm going to line up the second layer and then go ahead and fill that in as well with some more black soot. And it's so easy to line up those stencils, way easier than I made it look. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Once I have my second layer all inked in, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cleanup and then line up the final stencil. And for this last stencil, I'm going to be using some foil transfer medium and I'm just going to go ahead and spread that out as thin as I can. While that was drying, I went ahead and heated up my laminator and brought in a piece of holographic foil. And before I run that through, I'm just giving those both a little bit of a wipe down with a brush to remove any dust or lint. And then I struggle for a second trying to get this to go through because my paper was a little warped from the water. But I eventually got it. <laughs> I usually use a piece of computer paper as a carrier sheet. But I recently started using it without because I feel like the foil adheres a lot better without it. 
but it does make it a bit more difficult to run things through. So it's a lot of trial and error on my part. <laughs> but here we go with the reveal and it looks so good, super shimmery, and the detail is all there. So next I'm gonna go ahead and trim down my panel. Then I'm going to bring in a holographic paper pad and some black cardstock, and I'm going to go ahead and create two additional layers to my card front. And I'm going to go ahead and just eyeball about an eighth inch border around each piece. I tried to measure it, but I didn't end up with a perfect square, and to be honest, I didn't feel like dealing in sixteenths and eighths, so I just went with my best guess. Next, I'm going to bring in some double-sided tape and attach my first layer to the black cardstock. Before I attached my last layer, I cut out the inside of this holographic piece so I could save it for a later project. And I went ahead and attached that last piece with some more double-sided tape. Next, I brought in the Sunshine and Rainbow stamp set, and I'm going to heat emboss five different sentiments onto some black cardstock with some white detail embossing powder. gonna go ahead and make sure everything is nice and melted and then trim each of those out. I'm going to line each of those up across the front and then go ahead and adhere those with some foam tape.
Then off camera, I went ahead and created a card base. And here is the finished card. I think this is such a fun and whimsical and colorful card and it just makes me happy. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.